Okay, so do you guys want to stand a bit closer? Pretend you like each other. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Devin. I'm Liz. <laughs> Um, I'm Devin and I build props and the scenic stuff. Um, Everything but tech and laser cutting. I'm Liz, I am a manager and I also help to design some of the front of house stuff. I help with the aesthetics and building um, most of the sets and some of the props as well. Um, we're talking about the wall panels for our new game at Wonderland, which is going to be Seven Dwarves. These are for a mine, but they could be for a cave, they could be for a medieval castle, they could be for... Anything under Stonehenge. <laughs> you could use the same technique for... Literally anything. Pretty much anything yeah. organic. Like forest, anything organic, I would say. Material-wise, we are putting everything on chipboard because it's thick and affordable. And then we have a whole bunch of two by fours and two by threes. And then we purchased the black insulating foam because of the color basically and the thickness. We want to try and save space so we're not going any deeper than an inch and a half really. So depending on the room, we also have some gold accents as well as some diamonds because we're mining for diamonds. And so Deb spent a lot of time at the beginning sort of mapping out the room, looking at the floor plan and seeing, okay, this section of four feet um, is going to look like this. It's got a puzzle on it at this height, so we need to cut a hole out of the wall at this spot. So that's how we mapped out each section and knew exactly what each one was going to look like before we got started. There's one over there with the puzzle partially done. Mm -hmm. So that was the first step and then after that we have the foam all mapped out so we've kind of laid out our two by fours based off support and aesthetics really. And then peel off one layer of the backing for the foam and just go to town with an alpha and have fun with it, make it look good. Rocky. Yeah, rocky. <laughs> and hit it with a heat gun. It, the heat gun gives it strength and it also just kind of takes that rough edge off and gives it a bit more of an organic look. And then we made our own foam coat recipe and then paint. So the paint is, well, we did the overcoat. Yes, yeah, spray gunned a gray base. All of these are not on there also, like the two by fours and everything were gone. The foam was mounted, then you paint. <laughs> yeah, because the staining we wanted to do off, it's just faster that way. Once the foam is on, it can be foam coated more easily. Yeah. Um, so yeah, spray with a gray base, and then um, we use a sponging technique um, to do highlight and low light, um, followed by spritzes, uh, just to like blend the colors of a couple different, like we did like a green yeah. and a kind of rusty red, Yeah. Um, and then also a white, white to black. just bring it all together. Yeah. And after all that paint is finished, we did three coats of clear, coat just to like make it nice and shiny kind of give it that wet raw yeah. effect and like give it strength as well so we used a gravity feed like air gun for the clear coat and we might revisit it in the lighting probably do some more shadowing and maybe some more clear coating yeah. to get like a drip or more of a wet effect it's hard to tell because right now we're under these lights and fluorescence yeah <laughs> Everything looks great under fluorescent. <laughs> but in the game, it'll be like spotlights and different color and that kind of thing. So it'll be darker as well. Yeah. Hard to tell. Drilled holes where we felt looked good, basically, and secure and put our diamonds in. Actually, that was before the clear coat. The clear yeah. coated over the diamonds. We're gonna like backfill them with some resin and hopefully they won't ever come out. And then light shine through is the goal, so. Yeah. It'll that's cool pretty much the process for those guys. And once all the foam is like completely finished, that's when we put the stained wood on. And the wood has been stained in two colors. There's like the backing color and then the edging, which kind of gives it that dirty sort of ed aged, I'm in a mine, look. Yes. Um, and then once they're in the room, we'll do final touches. They came together really quickly. Like despite all of those steps, uh, yeah, paint steps. We we ha how many total? We had eleven panels for one room. I eleven think. in one room and six in another. And all of the painting came together within probably two days on for each for the eleven panel room. And that really includes like the foam coat. I mean, we're lucky it's summer, so we can do stuff outside. It's dry really faster. quickly, but yeah. like. To paint it after it's all foam coated took Liz and I, I think we did six panels in under an hour. Yeah, it's really fast. 
and Once you get going. Yeah, like you you just motor through and it yep. looks good. And uh, yeah, it was really fast mm -hmm. and really fun. Yeah, and I think economical really. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, that's it.